So today's a different kind of video. Uh, we just drove three hours from Long Island up to East Durham uh, to go to Jimmy's annual go-kart day. Uh, Jimmy bought a go-kart uh, track a couple of years ago and every year he has makers come out uh, with go-karts that they've made to race them against each other. So took the whole family out and we're gonna go check it out. Hey, how's it going, Jimmy? Hey, nice to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Can you tell the story again of how uh, so with this track? In 2018, this place became available. I financed it through the, the owners of the Blackthorn owned it, and they let me pay them directly so I didn't have to go to a bank, which made life easy. It was very affordable. And so I paid it off in two years, and I thought I was going to build a commercial maker compound here. Yeah. And I might still do that, but I just haven't had the money. So I just started opening it up. This is the fourth go-kart track event in a, in, in a, in a row. Yeah. 2020 was the first one during COVID, so it was a little smaller. And every year since then, it's been growing. Nice. And this year, it seems like we have the most custom-made parts. And it's really just come and hang out. There's no winner. There's no loser. Three hot dogs and hamburger. It's really just sort of a self-funded event. People come and have fun. Super fun event. Thanks, yeah. Jimmy. Thank you. It's got to be like 600 pounds. Yeah. It's made for you know, all day practice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, people on fiber. People on the OG. So I started off originally with this piece, from here to here, the part of the original part. Everything else I redid, the whole rear end I redid, the whole front end I redid. When I first got this, the whole axle was falling apart, uh, the bearings were falling apart. So I redid the rear end for last year's event, and then I kept the front end stock where I got it. And the past winter I ended up redoing the front end, so now it looks like this. I put little wings on it. Nice. All right, my name is Dave Anderson from Atomic Airship Work, and this is my car. It was built from a set of plans from Popular Mechanics that I bought 45 years ago, and just recently refound. And after the race last year, I decided I got to build a car, and this is the one. Now, what's unique is it's all made out of wood, and there's no welding, and all the suspension parts are just pipe fitting. So it really is accessible to anybody that wants to. One of the ones I think Jimmy made a while ago. So I'm Papa Chad, is what everybody calls me, from down in Alabama, and this is our little cart that we got. Three wheels. It was a set of plans I bought for like 20 years old. It's called a Scorpion. Had to do some modifying on it though. So I had a different motor I got from JD originally, Apex, but the throttle linkage wouldn't work, so we went ahead and bought a ghost motor from Harbor Freight. Got that on there, and the swing arm, I ended up having to cut it back apart after I welded it. We added four inches into it because the carburetor was gonna hit the rear tire. Got some pieces and parts, changed some things. She's not pretty, but it works. I think she's very pretty. I think it's very cool. The very last night, we, uh, Buddy was helping me. We got her down, got her fired up, went to sit down on it. Yeah. Put it bottomed out on the ground. Oh, no. The Chinese in the springs weren't enough. So okay. I just welded the swing arm together. And, uh, yeah, here we are. Okay. It's interesting. Oh, no, I love it. We didn't have a hub. I ordered a kit of parts from uh, one of the cart, cart companies and uh, realized I didn't send the hub, so I had to weld the steering wheel on at the level time. Okay. Threw it in the truck and then drew, drove the uh, 1,100 miles up here. Got up here through. How fast is it? Huh? How fast you can, can you get up on it? I don't know. It's, you know, the brakes. You need a little more brake before you get crazy. Okay. And I don't feel like uh, hitting the tires. So. Yeah, it reminds me of those uh, those three wheels that we see on the road. 
Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, like the Polaris thing. Yeah, the Polaris yeah, ones, yeah. yeah. It's like kind of like like a jerk bait on a pond if you're fishing. Yeah. It's kinda, it just, <laughs> the fish tails on you. It's, it's interesting. Yeah. So. But it gave me some ideas, so next year maybe we'll do something else. All right. Sounds fun. Well, thanks, Mama Chad. All right, buddy. Dave, Dave Dart. Yeah. DTV Fabrication on Instagram. All right, and uh, tell me about your uh, tricycle or drift drift mobile. Yeah, drift trike. It, um, I don't know. I was supposed to build it last year. I never got it done, so this year I had to get it done to come out here and. Um, yeah, I don't know. I had to do something a little different. It looks like a ton of fun out there. Awesome. It's yeah, awesome. yeah. It's definitely a lot of fun. A little hairy sometimes. It gets a little slippery, but yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a good time. It uh, built the frame, bought some of the pots, the motor's a knockoff motor, and uh, the rear axle I got from a go kart kit. Okay. And then the rest was uh, the little Colin Furs meets Jesse James. Yeah, so the dimensions and everything, did you kind of figure that out, or did you base it on anything? laid the axle out in the bench, put the motor in between, and... It, it, it just worked it from there, too. yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. Thank you. My name's Art Clement. I'm from Troy, New York, and I uh, I do small engine stuff. I just like building cool things. Um, I came from a background of uh, stock car racing, drag racing, all that, and, you know, I ran across Jimmy's video probably four or five years ago when he first started this, and I'm like, yeah, I gotta build something cool, so... And I got younger kids, so I figured, you know what? Might as well build something cool. Yeah. yeah. What What made you like go with this design? Like, what did you like? I've always wanted to build one of these since I was a kid. Yeah. You know, you'd sit in your little red wagon when you were a kid, and you'd pop wheelies, and you yeah. always wanted to do it. So, you know, I just brought it from here to here. That's awesome. Did he as well for that this year? Solo, works by Solo on all social media channels. Okay, uh, I built this from scratch. It took me a year and a half to design it and fabricate it, and it's still not quite finished. It's my own design. Okay. Uh, so this is based on research I did on the internet. Uh, sort of a race go kart, sort of a yard kart, a little bit of a mix of everything, and uh, it goes this faster than I expected. How how um uh, how fast does it go? Uh, Art Clement said he th thinks he had it on the highway today at about 45 miles an hour. 45 miles an hour, holy cow. Okay. How's the handling? Smooth? Good, good. Yeah. A little bit of oversteer. Okay. It's uh, better than understeer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, know, you want to Leah, you want a little bit of oversteer on that. All right, cool. Well, thanks, Bernie. Yeah, sure thing, Dave. Hey, I'm Mike. I'm with Big Bear Custom Metal. Yeah. Hold on. Wait for it. Yeah. This is my cart. Okay. Hands the cart. Tell, tell me why you chose the colors that you did. Uh, because I'm old. Oh, nailed it. So, it's bad. It's bad. <laughs> that, and, uh, you know, I figured I'd have fun with it. I asked yeah. my kid. I was like, hey, what color should I paint it? He's like, it needs pink. So I said, okay. And yeah. uh, I don't take any of this too seriously. So, yeah. that's why we have AstroTurf. That's why there's a hula girl on the front. And that's why we got... Pimping flags on the back. Because uh, you know what? I think you got the most style out on the track today. It's uh, it's all about style. Yeah. I mean, uh, AstroTurf makes a car go faster. Clearly. That's and it feels good on your feet. And who <laughs> else has a pink steering wheel? I mean, come on. Hi, I'm David back with, uh, this is a home design cart. Uh, got full suspension, uh, big old Predator motor, and not enough brakes. It goes too fast for something I would want to weld. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> well, it's still in one piece, so you're doing yeah. all right. Burn the tire off. Oh, yeah. A little bit more wear on the right than the, the left there. Yeah. Uh, my name's Ed Nysik. Uh, I'm affiliated with Overlook. Uh, and um, she, she acquired this bike from um, somewhere in Pennsylvania, up in Milwaukee, when she was at the Flat Out Friday event. Uh -huh. And uh, she bought the uh, the bike itself, and then when they went back up this year, she got the sidecar for it. That's amazing. Yeah. So it's a real limited supply, and. Um, yeah, fun with it. Yeah, do you guys both ride it on there? You guys get yeah, on the side yeah, and hang on? I'm her monkey. Yeah, you're I'm the monkey. monkey. Yes, I am. This is wild. It, it's a little bit. Did you build this? Uh, me and my dad and our couple too. 
Can you tell me uh, who you are and can you tell me about this this uh, project? My name's Sophia. My stepdad Gary did most of the work. Yeah. He did all the designs and stuff. I just kind of welded it together. So it's like a, a trike, yeah, electric, electric, yeah. electric uh, hub in the front? Uh, no, it's a battery in the back. Okay. And it all goes to the big wheel in the front. The big wheel. Money. Okay. <laughs> and then it's got like the swing in the back that yeah. it's kind of. The arms here. Oh, that's how you check. Oh, no, no, you're not checking. I got them. We're good. So, okay, so you, that's how you turn it. Wow, yeah. that's wild. Steering arms in the front, that's the speedometer. That's how you turn it on. That is so cool. Uh, my name's Mason. I'm a you know, longtime fan in the maker community here. And when I came to this go kart event with my moped last year, this thing was just sitting here, kind of over in the weeds in pieces, and it, it didn't run. It like didn't have an engine. It was missing a bunch of stuff. And Jimmy saw me looking at it. He's like, "You want that?" And I'm like, "I don't not want it." He's like, "Take it home and pick it up." So I've been trying to do that. I took it home, like, ah, oh, it's a whole year. I got, I got time, I got time, I got time. And then it, all of a sudden it was like, I don't have any time. <laughs> but I'm sure that's somewhat relatable in a sentiment. Hey, but you got it going today. Well, yeah, I made it fixed. Yeah. I made it work. I mean, it went for a whole lap. Yeah. So that counts. Yeah. And and it, it, it looks nice. awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Well so, done. Next next year, I'll try to get more laps Yeah, we'll get two laps. Yeah, we got two laps. <laughs> Brand new. This is brand new. This is another this is out of the box, another harebrained idea for me. Another invention. If you guys don't remember, we got the pencil sharpener, the motorized pencil sharpener, and now we have the motorized shave ice maker. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. And if you're interested in coming to this event, make sure you follow Jimmy on Instagram because he'll give you notifications of when this is actually happening next year. And a maker event that's coming up real soon that you guys could also go to is Maker Camp. Happens in the same place, East Durham, New York. Makers from all over the country come uh, during Columbus Day weekend. So maybe we'll see you there. Bye.